I literally can't believe <laughs> that people want me to answer this question right here, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. Maybe it's going to help some of you out there. Pastor Dow, is pig clean for consumption? Uh, all I'm going to say is you people are something else. You, you people are just, I'll tell you what, listen to me very carefully and really, truly listen to me. Listen to me real good, okay? For those of us that follow the Bible, we follow the scripture, and we are obedient to it. When we turn over to Leviticus, the 11th chapter, it gives us a dietary law. You know, the creator of the universe uh, told us as the Hebrews, the Israelites, that we're supposed to teach the nations his ways. And in that, the architect of the universe um, Almighty Yahweh himself He gave us dietary law And he says you know what Swine is unclean To you And the Bible says in Psalms that God will not alter Or change anything that has gone out Of his lips It also says in Hebrews that he's the same Today Yesterday and forever Yesterday, today and forever he, He's just He don't change See, he says himself, I am Yahweh, your Elohim. <coughs> Excuse me. Your translation mm, will say, man, something right now. Your translation will say, um, I am the Lord thy God, and I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. And, of course, Christianity will tell you that when Paul and them came along, they cleaned everything up, and so we can eat anything we want. Now, mind you, Paul is a Hebrew of the Hebrew of the tribe of Benjamin circumcised the eighth day. Who says that the commandment is holy? Just and true, the law is holy. And of course, by the time you get finished with the Europeans coming over here hijacking our book, which is the Eastern book, and then they put their Western philosophy on it, that Bible don't say anything that it had intended to say. But for those of us who believe and know the truth, we know for a fact that swine is unclean. Catfish is unclean. As a matter of fact, Isaiah, the prophet said in Isaiah 66, you eat that, talking about that pig, and bounce, you're going to be consumed, consumed together, meaning you're going to go to hell, basically. And um, so, hey, obedient, commandment-keeping people who follow the Bible, they obey it. They don't eat swine. They don't eat catfish. They don't eat shrimp. They do not eat lobster. They don't eat crawdads or crayfish. They don't eat salamanders. We don't eat snake, alligator, armadillo. <laughs> oh, God. Then, of course, everybody says, Oh, well, what are you eating then? Food. Clean food as defined in the Bible. Now, check it out. Could that be the reason why that we at Straightway are enjoying a greater level of health than you are? Think about that for a second. We clean according to what the book says. And from 78 years old all the way down to six weeks old, the people who actually live on the community, not one person is on any prescription drugs whatsoever at all. Nobody has a prescription for drugs that you take in your mouth and you consume them to help manage your disease. I think the problem is, is your Babylonian mystery religion called Christianity has done lie to you folks. <laughs> you swine-eating pork chop pastors out there has deceived you folks. And I know, I know, Pastor Doc, we can listen to you. I just don't like the way you talk. Well, we had a dilemma because I don't like the way you listen. And the last time I checked, a man of y'all is not trying to garner favor with the people in order to see if his method... Uh, is approved of them or not His method of preaching and teaching You understand what I mean To me it makes no difference to me Whether you hear or forbear Those who have the ears They will hear And the ones that don't They won't So I'm totally unconcerned About people who uh, disagree With uh, what they call my perspective and point of view Just go read it yourself Does God change? Hmm? Does he? Does he really truly change? And once you get that answer, then you'll know that swine is unclean. 
I don't care how many of you pork chop country folks out here love hunting boar and carrying on and stuff and eating pig and pig's feet and hog jaws and fat back and bump rinds and every damn thing else. I don't care. <laughs> but hey, you love it. You're a Gentile. It's for the nations going. Go ahead and have at it. Eat all you want. Eat all you want. I wouldn't suggest it, but hey, eat it up. Hey, eat it till you start looking like one. When you get high blood pressure, you start getting all these ailments. When that trichinosis worms that can't even be destroyed at 450 degrees Fahrenheit is, is running off through your intestines, your colon, your liver, your kidneys, your lungs, and starting to get into your heart, don't blame Pastor Dowell. I told you. Shame, isn't it? And you know it's amazing? Because even over in the days of Noah, in Bereshit, uh, you call it Genesis, the seventh chapter. Yah had already spoke to Noah, and he had already defined clean beast and unclean beast. Of course, you people believe that the animals went on ark two by two of every kind, don't you? <laughs> See, Christianity is mystery Babylon, and your pork chop pastors <laughs> are priests for the mystery Babylonian system. You deserve the truth, and the truth straight way. You know what? They ain't a Thing nobody can do about it because it is the truth that sets free. 